another horrible rainy day here in South Wales. Good morning, by the way. It's the day after Boxing Day today. And I've been up since eight o'clock. I'm the only one up in the house. It was dark when I woke up. I mean, there was some light in the sky, but in the house it was dark. So I've been all solitary. I've been sat here doing my jibolingo, as I do, doing my Portuguese learning to start the day off. I set my alarm today, actually. I know it's holidays, but I need to edit a vlog. My daughter has invited her friends and their parents, which is fine with me, absolutely. I will be so delighted to see them. They are coming at one, so I have got work to do in the meantime. It's just gone nine in the morning now anyway. I can't believe I've spent a whole hour just kind of luxuriating and being solitary. But I'm going to go and do some work now and I'll catch up with you in a bit. It's approaching 10 a.m. now. I'm doing myself some breakfast, having some crumpets. I'm trying to use them up. I'm back to doing daily wash loads again now as he's home. I must be honest, I did let it mound up a bit in the days leading up to her coming home. I've got out of the habit of doing daily ones because it was just part of the routine before. Get up, put a wash on, you know. I'm having goat's cheese on my crumpets today. I'll finish that in a minute. I want to eat that while it's still hot. Uh, look at this weather still. It's about 20 past 10 now. I've eaten my crumpets and I came down to hang the rest of the washing out and reheat my next coffee. So I'm going to have one more coffee while I finish editing. It's amused me that my daughter has taken it upon herself to sort out all the quality street that are remaining. Looks a bit like a pie chart. The gal pals are now coming at half one instead of one, which buys me an extra half an hour to get my vlog up. Apparently the kids, they're not kids, they're young adults, are going to make a gingerbread house and something else, they want the table, they're gonna sit at the table today. Normally they will hide upstairs in Isabel's room and me and the mum sit down here and drink coffee and eat cake and, and chit chat. So there'll be a, a whole load of us today. Second editing stint coming up. Oh, go on, I might have to have one of these. So I haven't turned all the lights off in here, excuse the weird randomness of the lighting. Just got camera light, yum yum. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 11.30, still raining. I'm just taking a little pause. I need to make my thumbnail and help my vlog tonight. I do like looking at the rain though. From inside. It is incessant. It's five to one now. Gal pals due to arrive in about half an hour. I've got my upload up. I had an email from a customer. They want to change a date of a gig that he's booked in. So I've had to reply to them, email the rest of the band, try and get their availability. Also, Gal pals are dropping night flies. One of them's been being sick, so she can't come. So her mum's not coming either. I'm not sure if her mum was coming because this was arranged at very short notice yesterday by Isabel and I was just kind of informed of what was going on. So that, that yeah, I didn't know who quite was coming, but we've definitely got three coming. I know that now. So I'm looking forward to seeing them. That's going to be awesome. So I've been pottering around as you do, doing the last bits of washing up, wiping down the surfaces. I even cleaned that. That doesn't happen every day. I need some lunch now. I'm actually waiting for a callback. Oh, I'm having to rearrange the delivery of Izzy's medication. I'm multitasking. There's a service where if there's like a long queue in the phone line, they'll call you back, press a button and you get a call back. Anyway, this is what we had last night for dinner. Oh my gosh, it feels like it's glued shut. I've got loads of cream because I thought I was going to do a trifle and then I changed my mind when I saw the made trifle. So I've got enough cream to make a trifle, you know. So I did this creamy pasta dish last night and once I'd served it up, Izzy had chopped up meat on hers and I had chopped up leftover smoked salmon on mine. I'm just going to heat that up and have it for lunch now. Izzy's just eaten something else so she won't want that. I decided to have some spinach with it and I'm just reheating it in the pan. I might put the hoover around quickly while that's doing. I've just realised hoovering is a bad idea because I might not hear my phone forget that callback. You see, I booked the refrigerated van to deliver my daughter's pre-filled injection pans on the wrong day, one week before she's gonna be there, well, just under a week before she's gonna be back, so that would be a complete disaster. It's because she originally told me the date that she was gonna leave back for uni, and then she updated it, oh, I don't know, months later, and I didn't realize I had an original date in my diary. So then I had two dates in my diary, about a week apart of when Izzy was going back to uni. So when I went to book the delivery, I just looked in my diary and saw the first one that I saw and thought that was it because I didn't remember putting it in there in the first place. So that's awful. If it turns up and she's not there, that will be a disaster. And they're on like skeleton hours during the Christmas, but they are open today. But this lack of callback is very unusual. So I wonder if they don't have a lot of staff on. I've got to get it sorted though. I've got to, because they're going to be closed again soon. Look how dark it is in my house in the day, this time of year with the rain coming down and all the clouds in the sky. It's shocking, isn't it? Here's my delicious lunch and I shall sit at the table and eat that now and wait for my call back. But it's yummy. And guess what? Phone rang while I was eating it, so I had a little hiatus. And I'm very pleased to report that I have now changed the delivery date. So yay, thank goodness for that, thank goodness. And my friends are due in a couple of minutes, so that's timed perfectly really, isn't it? Oh, I know, I can put the hoover around. Getting all those green Christmas tree needles. They're just continuously raining down and 
spreading far and wide. I've hoovered down up the stairs as well and all around the house. Well, not every room, not the bedrooms. This is something I bought for Izzy for Christmas, if you were wondering what the big lumps were, if you watched my Christmas Eve or Christmas Day vlog. So this is for her to bring her things back and forth from uni. And also she's going to save up her money, she says, and go on a holiday in the summer abroad somewhere on her own. She wants to do solo travel abroad, so I'm going to be terrified, but you know, good on her. I also bought her a pink sleeping bag and she was like, um, what's that for? I probably won't use it, ma'am. I said, that's independence, that is. <laughs> That's your bed for the night if you want to go and stay at your friend's house or if you've got somebody who wants to stay over in your room with you. You can have a sleeping bag and they can have your freshly laundered bedding. So anyway, she kind of warmed to the idea. <laughs> Um, that's actually packaging for something that was for my mum, so I'm just going to wait to see if it's in good working order, but it's a heated clothes era. I actually bought one of those for my boyfriend as well. I'd seen it on somebody's vlog. They said they absolutely swore by their plug-in heated clothes era. You know, like mine, but heated, electric, low wattage, and warms the clothes up in a flash. Apparently I want one. It's one of those things I said I bought for people I wanted. I got a really sort of compact, freestanding, it's just like a straight up line for my mum because it's really compact it doesn't take up a lot of space but Ibi's got you've seen this place he's got loads of space in the spare room so he's got a big he's got one that's the shape of mine but he's electric so anyway I'm going to make sure it's working and when I know it's in good working order I will throw that packaging out just in case you know needs to be sent back or something like that and my dad's great big package was a padded like camping chair so he can keep that in his boot and then if he wants to stop somewhere in the country and get out and have a flask of tea he's got somewhere comfy to sit I think he's already got like a raggedy old one that really is really ragged so he's got a replacement padded comfier one now you know the sort of thing that you wouldn't justify the expense of buying for yourself but you would buy it as a present for somebody so yeah those were the big things and Izzy's been saying she wants to go to festivals so she'll need that and I think she'll need tent oh, i also bought her it's got scrunched up and checked down there it's a like a cape for dyeing your hair because she dyes her hair all the time and likes her t-shirts yeah my daughter's favorite present i think came from my mum she bought her a lego succulent set you know it's the 18 plus lego i think 18 plus there we are so Izzy was absolutely delighted. She squealed with delight at that. She said she's going to take it back to uni in a case and assemble it there rather than try and transport it assembled. Did I tell you the gal pal said they're coming at two now? I can't remember if I told you or not. But anyway, I've got 10 minutes, so I'll put the coffee pot on now and get ready for her to arrive. It's quarter to five now. My friend's just left and her daughters have just left as well. They've all had a lovely time and we've had a lovely time. The sound of a very exuberant conversation was filtering down through the floorboards above. I've got the fidgets now. My legs want to go and have a walk. It is actually dark. That's outside right now, but I'm going to go out anyway. I'll take the other camera. You never know. I might be able to film something. <laughs> I doubt it. And then I will come back and cook something. I don't know what. I've been grazing on Stollen with my friend. Mm -hmm. And also Quality Streets. I wonder if these are reduced yet in B&M. You know, I'm half tempted to pop in because it'll still be open. Come on, let's go now. Look, all the Christmas stuff is completely gone. It was gone yesterday when I popped in, actually. I popped in briefly yesterday. Didn't vlog it. Oh, there's the remaining Quality Streets. Oh, they're not reduced. Look. Well, it says was four pounds now 3.49 those are the purple ones there look not many left are there i'm not gonna buy them though tree decorations down from 2.50 to 1.25 for a box of 18 it seems such a treat to walk down empty aisles in B&M after they've been so crowded for so long. I didn't buy anything in B&M. Now, I don't know how much of this the camera's picking up because it's so dark, uh, but the river is really, really high and there's a lot of water flowing through it right now after all that rain. Well, I've been for a walk for about 20 minutes in the dark and the rain. I went in the streets where it was all lit, you know, people around and all that. Anyway, I popped into Iceland because I want some of these, so I'm going to do them fresh in the oven to have the soup, which I'm going to make in my soup maker, which I don't know how to do yet. I'm back home now. I'm getting ready to use my soup maker for the first time. I've been having a look at the instructions over here. Look, this thing comes out of it. God, it looks like mighty. It's got a juice option. You can put raw ingredients in there. It takes two minutes, apparently, and it doesn't heat it, that one. So, yeah, I've got a variety of things out. I'm going to go for the option where you sauté first. I haven't put it on yet, but I put a bit of oil in. I think I'll sauté the garlic and ginger. I love onion and it makes it so tasty. Oh, I could sauté chilli as well. Let's get some chilli. I keep mine in the freezer after somebody in the comments advised me to do it and it keeps them beautifully fresh. I think I'll put two in. My daughter likes a bit of bite to her soup these days. Yeah, I had such a bad tummy ache for a few days after eating quite a lot of oniony products that I'm giving onions a rest. Hopefully the garlic didn't set me off. Okay, I've turned it on. I've pressed the saute button. I suddenly realised not to put the lid on. <laughs> I tried it. It just like, it's like, no, auto shut down. 
So I've pressed that button and that light's gone green. Apparently I have to leave it one minute and I'm not actually counting, <laughs> I'm just kind of guessing. And then add my sauté ingredients. And these are my sauté ingredients. That whooshing sound is my lovely dishwasher, my kitchen companion doing a lovely job of washing my dishes for me, by the way. Anyway, this is what I'm going to sauté, bit of garlic, bit of ginger and some chilli. I've cut it up quite big because I'm going to whiz it up anyway. And I, and I think if you do that, it releases a bit more flavour at the end. And likewise, I'm going to put some coriander seeds in as well because I love it when you put that in a soup and you blend it at the last minute and it releases all the flavours. Oh, I love that. So that's what I'm going to do. I bet it's been a minute, so should we chuck it in and see what happens? I've just realised I've left my tripod in the bedroom. we one-handed at the moment, so I can get my act together on that. Seems a bit hot, doesn't it? I'd be turning the gas down now if that was on the stove. <coughs> oh, chilli's getting me. <coughs> Well, that's hot on the outside, obviously, yeah. Okay, sometime later, the concoction is coming together. I've added all the ingredients I'm gonna add. Where's that Max line? Oh, have I gone over it? Oh, crikey. There's the Max line there. Oh, I think I'm just about on it, actually. I've added a tin of lentils for some protein and some extra fiber, a bit of salt and pepper, some Marmite, about a sort of level teaspoon of Marmite, a Gioxo, some herbs. Yeah, so I'm gonna put the lid on now and see what happens. I'd like smooth soup, please. So let's do this and see what it does. Well, that light's gone off. Right, I think I need to do mode. Smooth is what I want. Select. It's up 21 minutes, maybe? I wonder if that's how long it takes. Well, let's give it 21 minutes and see what happens, see if it clocks down. Oh, oh, it's just starting to make noise. It stopped the minute I got the camera on. What it's been doing is it's been kind of boiling quite vigorously, more vigorously than I would normally boil a soup, to be honest. But uh, as you can see, a lot of steam has sort of come out and there's a lot of condensation on it, but it hasn't been boiling over. I suppose that's probably why we've got a max mark, which is really quite low down. Um, it just did a little whiz. It has been counting down, as I suspected it might, so it's down to 10 minutes now, which is good timing, because I'm about to put these in. I broke it in half, I just thought it'd be easier, save cutting it when it's boiling hot. And they should be ready at the same time. Oh, I can put cream in it. Cream in soup makes such a difference, I think. Mm. Me and Izzy have got something we're gonna watch when we're eating our soup. We're gonna sit on the sofa and have it, and we're gonna watch the making of the Christmas Day Doctor Who episode, because apparently it's on the iPlayer, so. I'm gonna watch that. Izzy had some Christmas money from IB and one of the things that she's got with it is this Ghosts book. She went to Tesco and got it for £11, I think. We are watching that on Christmas evening in the night after we finished with a bit of Doctor Who. We watched the final ever episode. Oh, I won't plot spoil, but you know. <laughs> it's just starting to do its thing again. <laughs> oh, oh, look, it does a little thingy symbol when it's whizzing. Just in case you couldn't tell. Well, do you know, that saves that thing with the hand blender when it all splashes up and burns your arm. <laughs> I'm always a bit nervous, you know, when that's happening. Just doing it again. It does little pauses and then it restarts. It's ready. I've just had a little experimental lift. It's not like sealed or anything. I want this to be careful not to get a big steam rush and burn myself whilst holding the camera. Oh, look at that. Well, hey, that looks a bit different to the way it went in, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Here's our tea. I've done some cream in it, look. <laughs> He's got a meaty one and I've got just plain. Let's have a little taste. Mm, that's absolutely lovely. Oh my gosh, that's really got a kick to it with those two chilies. Oh, that's nice. Well, the verdict was, I thought it was the most delicious soup I've ever had and loved every mouthful and went back for a second bowl. And now I've got all liquid swishing around in my belly because I've eaten too much of it. And Izzy didn't like it at all because it was too spicy. And she said she doesn't have enough of a spice tolerance to cope with it. So she hasn't had it. She dipped her sandwich in it a bit and that was about it. Um, so there we are, mixed response on that one. But anyway, I need to go and edit this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Do feel free to give it a like if you happen to like it. It helps the channel to grow. Subscribe down below if you'd like to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.